There's a popular media trope that we have been seeing more and more of in recent events. The trope I'm referring to is female rivalry and love triangles. Whether it's fighting for a guy or boyfriend stealing best friends, love triangles are one of the types of female rivalry most prevalent in the media, which makes me wonder, does this reoccurring pattern of girl-on-girl hate stem from internalized misogyny? By now, we are all more than familiar with the purported feud between Hailey Bieber, wife to Justin Bieber, and Selena Gomez, who was once Justin's on-and-off girlfriend from 2010 to 2018. And like many, I would have said it's safe to assume the girls are fighting. But what started off as a few TikToks reporting on the drama has now become a full-on war between the two celebrities. Fans firstly accused Hailey Bieber of making fun of Selena while she was being body shamed online with a TikTok featuring the audio, I'm not saying she deserved it, I'm just saying God's timing is always right. Hailey quickly deleted the video once fans started commenting their speculations and even replied saying it's not directed at anyone. A TikToker had made a video saying, I'm not really an avid follower of the situation, but isn't Hailey the one that like begs selena to tell off her fans for bullying her they said i mean Haley's a bitch in response selena commented by writing it was okay and she doesn't let things get her down on february 22nd selena posted a tiktok joking about accidentally over laminating her eyebrows hours later kylie posted a picture of herself on her story with the caption that was an accident as well as a screenshot of a facetime between her and Haley with solely their eyebrows in frame which fans perceived as hate towards Selena. The drama continued to escalate when Selena started commenting and replying to TikToks about the situation, and fans took it upon themselves to hunt for more clues on the rivalry. The situation is a classic love triangle featuring two women. Two women are placed at odds because of a guy. One is viewed as the victim, and one is the antagonist. The antagonist is portrayed as basic and shallow, while the protagonist plays a character you can empathize with. I mean, no one expects Selena and Haley to get along, It's not uncommon to see a romantic rival negatively. Not liking someone isn't anti-feminist. What's significant is the criticism the antagonist receives are rooted in misogyny. This can be seen in Hailey Bieber's Instagram comments that are flooded with people calling her a nobody and undermining her as a person or calling her a homewrecker. There's plenty of details on the feud. Fans accuse Hailey of copying Selena and being obsessed with her with her cooking show, red carpet looks, and G tattoo as evidence. Some say Justin is still in love with Selena and make videos of Justin leaving Haley out or looking unhappy. And others defend Haley by painting Selena as a true perpetrator of the drama. It's interesting how we quickly jump into conclusions without knowing the entire context. What gives us the right to demonize these women based on speculation? This isn't a question of who did what. The whole situation has been blown out of proportion and has started a Team Haley, Team Selena dispute between fans. There's this mob mentality these sides have taken. Why are we as a society so inclined to pit women against each other? Whether the alleged jabs were true or not, there's no actual proof. Every piece of evidence is mere coincidence and brought out of a place of bias and delusion. For us to jump to these conclusions, harass and insult both parties in the process with this false sense of justice, righteousness, and entitlement is ridiculous and extremely tone deaf for a generation who continues to push a narrative of wokeness and feminism. We know it all too well. Taylor Swift versus Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj versus Miley Cyrus. It's a narrative that keeps getting pushed amongst powerful women in Hollywood. Misogyny clearly motivates pitting women against each other. Women were not allowed to hold positions of power or importance in Western society at one time. And if they did, they were typically the only ones in the workplace or in their sector. To obtain this token status, they had to be the best and assured that no other girl could beat them. They felt disposable. Society made it so that two women couldn't coexist simultaneously in one space. Women in Hollywood believed that they had to be the most beautiful, the sexiest, or the youngest, or they'd be replaced by someone who was. Female rivalry isn't exclusive to pop culture. This trope has been seen sparse across centuries of literature, music, and movies, and many aspects of life. 
We see women being degraded and compared to in our everyday lives, whether it's in the workplace, in familiar relationships, in friend groups, and even in motherhood. What surprises me is that most of the time, it's being done by other women. Internalized misogyny leads women to mistreat, underestimate, and distance themselves from other women in order to increase their power and standing amongst men. This is a quote from Harvard Business Review. Internalized misogyny sits within us all. It's a byproduct of the shame and ridicule that societal views have inflicted upon women. Whether consciously or subconsciously, women project this prejudice against each other. This can be seen when minimizing the value of women or in the pick-me-girl phenomenon. When women are faced with some sort of competition against each other, their first instinct is to villainize and antagonize each other. The Hailey Bieber and Selena situation had me thinking back to 2020 at the peak of the Olivia Rodrigo, Sabrina Carpenter, and Joshua Bassett drama. Olivia Rodrigo and Joshua Bassett were co-stars on Disney's high school musical, The Musical, The Series. And while they never confirmed or denied a relationship between them, Fans quickly speculated a romance after the release of Driver's License. Many of the verses were rumored to be about Sabrina Carpenter, who was photographed with Joshua Bassett on numerous occasions. I found various parallels between these two narratives, but what interested me most was that these feuds were ongoing while Selena and Joshua were dealing with health conditions. We're so eager to point fingers and assign blame that we forget these celebrities are people with their own problems that can afford to be harassed with pointless internet drama. I understand the curiosity in who songs may be about or who doesn't like who, but honestly, this drama only dehumanizes these celebrities, discredits their work, and causes unneeded stress and attention. At the end of the day, what good has come from feuds and rivalries? Sabrina, Olivia, Haley, and Selena are all interesting and their own people. They are accomplished women with businesses and talent, these narratives make it so that the only thing they're known for is their feuds. Why is it we continue to define women through men? We all love celebrity gossip and drama. However, seeing how we pit these women against each other to such an extent is a reflection of how we treat women in our general society. It simply irks me how we're so quick to hold women accountable, but we don't hold men to that same responsibility. We continue to make excuses or simply ignore many of the things they have done. Why is it we criticize women for minor transgressions and forgive men for major ones? Haley received death threats for making a TikTok that may not even be directed at Selena. Meanwhile, literal domestic abusers continue to maintain a fan base. Chris Brown should have lost his career the second he laid hands on Rihanna, yet his concerts continue to sell out. And people went as far as calling Megan Thee Stallion a liar when Troy Lanez shot her. We rain war on women for petty discourses and pit them against each other while we make excuses for men. Female rivalries and love triangles are deeper than set out to be, and they should be recognized for what they are. Women involved in these ultimately reposition themselves further down the social rank in order to be more liked. It's a mindset we may all have experience, but I urge us to recognize the damage and hate we inflict as fans and possibly in our personal lives. Let's not let this culture of pitting women against each other translate into our own lives and relationship with women. After all, what happened to girls supporting girls? Mm -hmm.